Welcome back to Cars and Guitars. I'm at a mate's place working on the wagon here and he's had this old gas pump sitting around for longer than I can remember. It's cool and all, but it really annoys me because it could be so much better. I'm not sure what it was, but at some point someone's given it the old rattle can resto with the black and put a shell sticker on it. And I can't stand it any longer. Welcome to Cars and Guitars. Because if you're gonna have an expensive hobby, you may as well have two. All right, I'm back home and the plan is we're painting the logo. I've taken the, the sinful lower bit as well as this top part for some patina reference. And my gosh, does it have the patina. All the good stuff. It's absolutely beautiful. I'll eventually have to try and match this with paint, so wish me luck. Anyway, the plan is to get all this black off. The original white is still underneath, so it'll be a good base to put the new design on. I can't wait to get rid of this sticker as well. This is not how we do things around here. But before I make a mess, I'll have to get these cars out of the way. Small block life. Man, I love this car. I call it a daily, it's so fun to drive. That's the fuel pump lining, by the way. Yeah, the big girl. I haven't started her up in about a month, but it's a big block, so it'll be fine. Look, it'll wash too. Cold start, hasn't been in a month, and she's sitting here idle on the way with 65 pounds of oil pressure. She's choppy! All right, let's get to work. First things first, let's get rid of this sticker. Bit of heat and it'll fall right off. This black paint is coming off pretty easy too, but it'll probably need a hit with the orbital. That was easy. Dang it, broke me tape measure. Um, if I can figure out how to find the center of this, I'll be able to get the design on here. If you know, you know. I just printed this off and stuck it on temporarily so I can cut it out a bit like a stencil. Uh, you get nice crisp lines that way. My printer quit halfway through as well, so I'll have to do the D and the O freehand, but that's not a big deal. I'm also tossing up about doing some script down here, but I'm not 100% sure about that yet. And just like that, we're ready for paint. This sort of thing is all about the layers. So I'm gonna start with a bit of orange. I don't wanna cover it completely, I just wanna add some texture and depth. On top of that, the top coat. For something this small, I didn't wanna set up the spray gun and mix paint, so I'm just using rattle cans. Cheaper the better. Now I'll just mask off the red and pull the rest of the stencil off so I can spray some green. Again, it's all on the layers. So before I put the green down, I'll give it a mist with some yellow. There is a reason for the layers. 
I don't do pretty. I like worn, patinaed paint with character. That's why I do the layers. It builds the color up naturally. When I do this style of patina, I use colors that are near each other on the color wheel. So when we come to painting it, the paint will have a more natural faded and worn look. One beer later, time to get all this stuff off and have a look at our little logo for the first time. A little clean up and we can start the next step. This is what I mean about the colors when you start wearing through the paint. That yellow just looks like worn out and faded green. It looks good, but that was the easy part. As you can see, the two halves aren't even close to matching. And like I said, I don't do pretty, so you can be dang sure I'm not gonna paint the top half white. This bottom half here, it's gotta match the top. And get in here and have a look. The top is glorious. This can't be faked, but you better believe I'm gonna do my best to try and match it. It's paint mixing time. Bit more on for stage two, so I'll be using the spray gun for the large areas and the airbrush for all that detail work. So I need to get mixing. Calibration complete. This first pass is a nice caramel brown, or tan. It's a, actually a mid-70s Holden interior trim color. Uh, I also use this as the base coat on my Impala that you've seen uh, in the beginning of the video. I don't wanna coat the whole thing, I just wanna mist over a good chunk of it, and I'll go a little heavier on the edges and around where we wanna give the impression of heavier rust coming through. Looks pretty good to me, on to the next. This next color is another 70s Holden interior color, uh, and it's about as 70s a color as you can get. Brown. This one was the main top coat on the Impala as well. Uh, it's a nice contrast or, I guess, continuation of the tan base. I've turned the air pressure right down as well. I'm only running about 10 PSI here because I want this first pass to splatter and add some texture. I've got the air pressure back up to 30 PSI or so now and I'll just go over the spots from before and add a little extra variation. Even with only two colors, you can start to see just how much better this looks already. Now all the detail begins. I'll start with some bright orange. It might sound weird, but this is a nice bright purple color. Uh, take a look at your color wheel. It's right up there near red and orange. It just works, trust me. Now we're getting into the good stuff. This is some laser cut sheet for airbrushing details. I use these heaps on the Impala as well. They're great for that sort of scaly rust look. Time for some black. Now I like to put down some now and then come back with some of the browns, reds, purples, even some blues and greens, and then do some final black details in the end. I'm sounding like a broken record here, but it's all in the layers.
third and last time, layers and detail. After this, there's only one layer left, a nice satin clear. And just like that, we're done. I'm so stoked with how this turned out. I was a little worried the side profile would look a bit weird, but it's seamless. It's been a while since I've done anything like this and it's a good warm up for a big project I've got coming up. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for plenty more.